Hello everyone and welcome back to Mario's World, the place where education meets fun. In today's video we're going to be speaking about how you guys can prepare for the new upcoming crash. Yes, you heard me right. A new crash is coming and you better prepare for it. Let's see how you can avoid it and you can maybe even make some money out of it. Stay tuned to find out more. Well, thank you all, first of all, for joining today's video. It's amazing to have you on this channel. And if you have any questions whatsoever throughout the whole video, make sure you put them in the comment section down below. I'll try to respond as quick as possible. In today's video, there's gonna be a lot of variables to discuss and there's gonna be a lot of things that you need to take into consideration. So it might be a pretty, you know, heavy educational type of video. But obviously, there are those type of videos every now and then. So stay tuned to find if that's what you're looking for. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell on. That will mean a lot to me specifically. And if you're enjoying this video, make sure you smash the like button. The first thing I will recommend to each and every one of you and to me myself is to don't lay on a lot of cash. That's pretty much it. Because with the upcoming crash, it's not going to be, you know, a crash when there's going to be huge unemployment and so on. But the crash is going to be because of the huge inflation. What does that mean? Your money are going to be worth less than what you're seeing them. So even if you have one dollar in your bank account, that dollar will allow you to purchase far less than what you can at this particular time. So let's say your bread and let's say your milk together are gonna cost one dollar. That's not the case anyway. But if that's the case and you, you can spend that one dollar and get those two items in the future, probably in the next three to six months, up to two years of making this video, you'll be able to purchase only one of those items. So you don't wanna lay on a lot of cash because they're gonna have less purchasing power. The second thing I would recommend to each and every one of you is to take out loans. Yes, you heard me right. With the upcoming inflation, it's much better, guys. You take loans and if you can, get a fixed rate for at least five years. And what does that mean? You're gonna be making money while everybody else are losing money. And how you're gonna be making money is, let's say your loan is gonna be with 3% per year, let's say interest, and the inflation is gonna go as high as, let's say, 7 to 8%. That difference between 3 to 7, 8% is gonna be what you guys are making upfront as your purchasing power and upfront to your loan and you're gonna be ahead of the game because at the time that everything recovers it's gonna be about five years or so I would say maximum and what does that happen and what does that mean to you guys you're gonna be making money while you sleep you're not gonna to have to think about the inflation and you're gonna have you know much better life in general the third major thing I would recommend to each and every one of you and I'm doing myself as well is investing into cryptocurrencies yes you have me right in most cases investing into cryptocurrencies you know, uh, raw materials and, or gold is a huge, huge, you know, counter to inflation. And the whole idea is because they, they call it, it's the safe heaven or something like this. It's known to be the holy grail of everything when it comes down to, you know, investment opportunities. Cryptocurrencies, gold, and also obviously raw materials, we've discussed this. All three things where you can find ETFs, meaning, you know, those kind of companies together bunched up in, in a whole index, you'll be able to purchase them. There's also indexes, you know, specifically focused on gold, so you can, you know, go long on those. And not only that, but you can invest in so many cryptocurrencies that your mind is, mind is gonna get blown away. So it's all down to how you wanna hedge, you know, against inflation. I'm personally gonna be buying gold, I'm gonna be buying cryptocurrencies. I'm not yet so sure about the raw materials, but these two things definitely are on my to-do list. And obviously don't forget you need to diversify and when you start investing into cryptocurrency make sure make sure you check out my other videos there's gonna be plenty of educational videos out there for you when you want to make your first cryptocurrency investment and maybe you should consider where exactly to do it and how much you want to do the next thing the how you can hedge your you know basically and go against the recession if you're a long-term investor you should definitely consider dollar cost averaging yes you heard me right that is a term that has been used in the past for a lot, a lot of time, but it's mainly been used for stock people, you know, for people who are investing in the stock market. But it, it's dependent on what you guys are investing in, whether it's in the stocks, whether it's in a foreign exchange, whether it's in gold, whether it's raw materials, whether it's cryptocurrencies, doesn't matter. Dollar cost averaging, if you're a long-term investor, is gonna be the best optimal way for you guys. And what does that mean? When you get your salary, just get a, or whatever your income is, just get a portion of that immediately into that brokerage that you're usually investing in. And that way you will, you will decrease the amount of you know, money, not that you have invested, but the amount of the assets that you have invested. So what does that mean? Basically, if you invest $1,000, and into something that is worth a thousand dollars your average is going to be one thousand dollars on that one thousand dollar investment but if you purchase another second time which is the dollar cost averaging the same amount same thousand dollars just a day later 
and that day later the price of that thing is not a thousand dollars anymore but it's 900 well the average is going to be 950 and you would have invested to her two thousand pounds two thousand dollars excuse me and what does that mean you will be break even at 950 dollars so while the inflation has been hitting it will be hitting everything hard they, everybody will be you know shorting the market stocks are going to go down and a lot of other things are going to go down you'll be able to get a much better rate on your stock investments and not only stocks but other stuff as well make sure you consider bonds because you should not go into the bond sector michael Burry has mentioned this and you'll be able to check it out on my other videos about him shorting tesla with 500 million and and he's shorting also the governmental bond and one of the most important and final points actually for this video is to take opportunities yes you have been right when there's a recession there's also big opportunities for growth and what does that mean if someone comes to you and they're offering you you know a new opportunity think about it think about it again a second time think about it a third time but at the same time understand the importance of it understand when everything goes down something needs to go up don't forget that and as soon as everything starts bouncing back up because as, as you know, when something goes up, something always goes down. It's the, you know, the typical way of traders and investors on the markets in general, that's just how it is. So if you have an opportunity coming towards you, whether it's for a new job, whether it's for a new business, whether, whether it's you know, getting the uh, best house you've ever wanted, but you just didn't have the money, take out a loan, that's an opportunity again, why not? All that matters to you guys is that you take the opportunities that are in front of you. And especially if they're one of a kind, don't even consider them you know a second time you should really be happy with what you've achieved and you should be really happy where you're going and take the opportunities and that's gonna be a way for you guys guys to go on top of the whole recession hopefully and securely making some bags at least and that's gonna be the end of today's video thank you all so much for staying up until the end the pleasure is all mine to have you on this channel if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and smash the like button if you have any questions make sure you put them in the comment section down below it's been a pleasure to have you once again and make sure you check out the other videos until the next one see you guys